Hey everybody, Fred Minnick here, and we're going to take a step away from tasting for a minute on this channel and in interviews, and we're going to talk about how to make a soap dispenser from your empty bourbon bottles. Now, if you're like me, you might accumulate an empty bourbon bottle from time to time, and there's a lot of cool things that you can do with it. And here in a new segment that I'm having on this channel called Fred's Friends, my good friend uh, Mitch Greenfield is going to show us what he does with his empty bottles. By the way, he gets my empty bottles as well, so none of mine go to waste. And if you want to buy one of these, you can go into the section and description, and I will have a call out to his website. Enjoy. All right, hi everyone, I'm Mitch Greenfield. I have a company, Soap Up, and we make bourbon bottle soap dispensers. Uh, we started out with this idea in 2013 because we said there's so many beautiful bourbon bottles and they only get used once and thrown in the junk. And we wanted to upcycle them. So uh, we think of our company as uh, also being green because we take something that others think are junk and we use them for something better. Our most popular bottle to make a soap dispenser out of is the Maker's Mark bottle, because uh, Maker's Mark is such a popular, iconic bourbon. But we also love when we find unique bottles like Willet, because they make excellent displays in people's homes. When we're starting to make a soap dispenser, we have to first understand if the bottle's threaded or not. So for a Maker's Mark bottle that's threaded, the process is a little different than for the Willet bottle, for example, that does not have a thread. So today I want to show you how to make the most popular bottle, which is the Maker's Mark bottle. And the first step in making a Maker's Mark bottle is to seal the label. And we want to make sure the label is sealed because we don't want water, uh, such as when you're washing your hand, to get it ruined. So uh, in order to seal the label, we use uh, Mod Podge, kind of a, a simple arts and crafts uh, technique. And we just want to kind of put on a nice amount of shellac on here. We do want to cover all the surfaces of it. All right, so we just keep sealing the label. And we usually let it dry for just a few hours after we're done. The next part of making the bottle is putting the pump together. So to put the pump together, you insert the straw into the pump. You wanna make sure that's nice and tight and then screw it onto the bottle. All right, and for me, the last and most important step is putting my sticker on for soap up. All right. For our bottles that don't have a threaded top, like the Maker's Mark bottle, you have to make your own cork. And in order to make your own cork, you have to take your pump and then kind of eyeball it. And I use this grip tape kind of eyeball how much grip tape you need to build out a bigger cork. And then we cut it. And we peel the, peel the back. Let's put on our gloves. Uh, don't want to get burned. And then apply some hot glue. And you don't want to put too much glue on it because uh, then it just kind of becomes a mess out the sides. Put enough glue that it stays. And then we apply one side and go around it and wrap the other side and then hold it tight for a minute or so just to give the glue time to bond. Yeah, so some of our favorite use cases for these bottles are more than just soap. Um, actually, in today's world, they're great for hand sanitizer. We've had people tell us they've used them for mouthwash. Uh, we've had people say they've used them for uh, bourbon, uh, <laughs> although we don't necessarily recommend it. These are food grade pumps that we use and they, they could be used that way. Take the glove off, insert the straw. And this is a, a little long, so I have to just cut the end off. Sent that one flying. And there we have a nice Willet 
soap up. And the last part of the bottle, of course, is putting our sticker on it. All right, thanks for watching how to make a bourbon bottle soap dispenser. For more information, you can check out our website at soap-up.com. Wasn't that cool? Now, maybe you might pick up a new hobby and uh, take it on yourself. And if you do happen to make a soap dispenser, go ahead and tag me on social media, at Fred Menick. I'd love to see what it looks like. Until next time, cheers, and remember, vodka sucks.